Hey everybody, Ryan DeWitt here from DeWitt Physical Therapy. I want to take you through a quick ankle mobility assessment. Your ankle mobility is important for all kinds of tasks, from walking to running to going up and down stairs, and especially to squatting. If you're an athlete, especially a CrossFit athlete or a powerlifting athlete, ankle mobility can make or break your squat. It can also make or break the efficiency of so many other movements. So let's go ahead and take a look at your basic ankle mobility. And if it's limited, I'll sh even show you a couple things that you can do, super simple, before a training session to improve your ankle mobility and get the most out of any of your time spent below parallel. So to test our ankle mobility, all we're gonna need is a wall and our foot. We're gonna start with that foot facing the wall, and we're actually gonna place it back about one fist width away from that wall. So I'm just gonna put my fist down, my toe touches my thumb, make sure my foot is straight in line. From here, I'm gonna keep that heel down and drive my knee forward and slightly outside. I wanna make sure it doesn't go inside because then I'm not actually using that ankle uh, joint itself. I'm kind of trashing my foot. So if I really drive that knee forward and outside, I can keep my heel down and boom, I can touch that wall. That's great. Let's go ahead and repeat on the other side. So again, one fist width back, heel down, and I'm gonna press forward. And I have a little bit of room to go on this side, right? So it's a little stiff. I just can't seem to quite get it to touch the wall. So I'm a couple finger widths away. So it tells me that this side doesn't quite meet the standard, my other side does. You might find an asymmetry from side to side. That's great, it gives you something to focus on and that way you know where you're actually putting your intervention. So let's go try a couple things. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a peanut, which is essentially just two lacrosse balls taped together. Very simple tool. If it's two tennis balls, that's fine too. And there's tons of products out there on the market you can use. Even a foam roller works fine, but it's nice to have something to kind of like dig in that tissue just a little bit to decrease the tissue tension and downregulate the nervous system. So I'm gonna put this on the ground and I go ahead and put the back of my calf and like lower calf and my Achilles right on top of that peanut. I have one ball on either side of the Achilles tendon there. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that foot and I'm gonna pull it back towards me. It puts a little extra tension on that, that uh, Achilles and calf tissue. And then I'm just gonna roll back and forth. I can roll to the inside and see how that tissue feels, roll to the outside, see how that tissue feels. And if that doesn't feel like enough pressure, I can go ahead and cross that opposite leg over it. Puts a little bit more weight on my hands, but it uh, definitely puts a lot more pressure on that ball. And yep, it's working. So keep the, that foot pulled towards you. Again, you're gonna put that tissue on a little extra tension as you do that. And I'd say spend about 30 to 60 seconds here on each side. Next, you're gonna use a super band. So I have a one and an eighth inch super band here that's securely anchored to something really stable and ideally a PVC or a broomstick. I'm gonna anchor it down nice and low. I'm gonna take this band and put it around the front of my ankle and then I'm gonna step out here real far so I get some good tension on it and take a big step back with that right foot. What we're gonna do is this thing should be lined up right about the ankle crease. You know, some people like to put it above, some people put it down below. I could argue for either. Whichever one feels most comfortable and you seem to get the biggest bang for your buck, I am okay with. So what you're gonna do is, is place that there, again, right about that ankle crease. You're gonna use your PVC or your broomstick and you're gonna stick the bottom end just to the outside of your toe and then it's gonna cross in front of your knee and you're gonna hold it in your opposite hand. From here, we're gonna take that knee and press it forward. So what's cool about this is a lot of us with restricted ankle motion, we tend to dive in this way. And all that's doing is kind of trashing my foot and not actually moving the ankle where we wanna move it. So if I want to actually focus my stretch and mobilization efforts on the actual ankle joint, I gotta make sure I'm not trashing my foot. So if I put this stick here, my knee really can't come in. It forces me to drive my knee forward and slightly out, which matches the plane of the ankle, the actual ankle joint, that Taylor curl joint. So that's pretty darn cool, right? Simple tools. All I'm gonna do is lean forward, press my knee forward and slightly outside, try to keep my heel down, and then come back. I would do this same thing for about one minute or so, maybe a little bit longer. And if I need to add a little extra pressure, I can kind of take that other hand and push down. If you get really good and you know where that ankle motion is, I'll even hold down here, press on top of my knee, and then that way I can get just a little extra, but the whole time I'm maintaining that arch in my foot. So I'd go ahead and perform this on both sides. 
So now that we've loosened up the tissue with that peanut and loosened up the ankle joint with that banded mobility stretch, let's go back to the wall and see how our ankle mobility is now. Okay, so time to retest. Let's go ahead and put that foot back down to the ground, about a fist width away. Heel down, drive that knee forward, boom. That one still goes, we wouldn't expect anything less. Now this left side for me was a little stiffer, but again, it's good to kind of assess as we come back. And right now, oh, I think I can get there. I'm either like that far away, I might've been cheating a little bit, but I really wanna keep that heel down and drive that knee forward and try to touch that wall. So I'm about half a finger with now. So I made a really big change in my left ankle mobility, just rolling out the tissue of my gastroconsoleus and then performing that banded dorsiflexion mobilization. Very, very simple tools, really, really big bang for my buck there. Now there could be a whole bunch of reasons why an ankle is stiff and these don't encompass all of them. It's our job as physical therapists to figure out what is going on and why and put all the pieces together. At the end of the day, that was a very simple test and two very simple things to do that are probably gonna make a big change for most people. So let's start there and see how you go and let's see if we can get you squatting deep and strong. Try it.